Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to get multiple regression coefficients by three different ways in Excel. I have prepared simple data from this website. There is one y variable and six x variables as independent variables. The first way is to use data analysis built-in analysis module. So go to data tab. On the right side, you can find data analysis and choose regression and select Y range and select X range from column B to column G okay. and check variables because the first row uh, is a variable name and output range here we want to see the result in this spreadsheet and click OK. Right. As you can see, we were able to get regression coefficients from x1 to x6 variable, including intercept. Right. The second way is to use matrix computation. So, in order to do matrix computation, we need to uh, use design matrix. So, let me add one more column here. Okay. Then let's give a name as INT and let's fit in with uh, one for all cells. Okay. Then let's give a name uh, for column A as Y. Okay. Yeah. We only need to, we only need to choose only data from a second row. Then uh, from column B to column H here, uh, let's give a name x as a design matrix right so uh, we need to calculate uh, seven uh, regression coefficients so select uh, seven cells here then uh, the formula the first one is inverse so m inverse and m merge this part and transpose x comma and x okay and x prime y transpose so m merge comma transpose x okay and the last part y so m merge comma y okay then press Control shift enter all right so yeah this is same as this one uh, as a regression coefficients all right uh, the third way is to use a linear estimate uh, function so l i n e s t function in excel so select this cell then let's use l i n e s t uh, select y Okay, comma, and select X from column C to uh, column H here, and comma. So it asks us uh, true or false. So when you choose uh, true, uh, it says B is calculated normally. So we need to choose true, comma. And the last option is uh, regression statistics. So, yeah. so we need to choose true. And then uh, press Ctrl Shift Enter. Right. So it gives us uh, many information. The first row is uh, coefficients. Okay. The second one, uh, second row is standard error. And this one, uh, 0 0.733. Uh, uh, this one, R square. And this one is a standard error. Right, so R square and standard error. Okay, and ten point five oh two here F statistic. Okay, and this is uh, degrees of freedom uh, for residuals. And the last uh, row uh, is this one sum of square for regression. Okay, and this one. Is for uh, sum of square for residuals. 
right so we need only this one right so uh, instead of calculating uh, this, this all uh, rel uh, important information we can extract uh, regression coefficients let me show you how to do that so uh, we need to think about array so let's give a name seven six five four three two one okay then again uh, linear st uh, uh, ri and est function so y here and comma and x from here press f4 uh, okay. okay okay then comma and okay right uh, then we need to extract uh, intercept so we can think of index comma seven here right so uh, we, because we gave a name for uh, column a so it has been changed uh, as y okay then okay right so we applied uh, seven six five so in index right so that's why yeah, it has been changed and it's the same as this one and this one right so regression coefficients that's it for today so we covered how to get regression multiple regression coefficients by three different ways in Excel I hope it was useful for you to understand uh, how we can get regression coefficients in Excel Please click uh, like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.